Please take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Star Card Tarot. Today I'm going to do a reading for Leo tonight. Really. I've been kind of missing in action for a little bit, but I'm back, okay? I had to recalibrate, factory reset, get my shit right. Right, right. So we ride, we ride, we ride. To the day that we die. All right, this is for Leo. As you know, there's a lot of different things that we all need to surrender every day as we grow, as we evolve, as we, as we ascend, as we transcend. There's some things that may be blocking us. So I'd like to dive into that first for Leo, what it is that they may need to surrender to. And ego is uh, underlining your energy right now. So <laughs> they say uh, egos can be the one in a group that wants the light to shine on them and just them overly confident you know really really soaking up that that control and power so you might want to take a look um, kind of go down into a quiet place meditate about the things that you need to release our ego does come up ego is a necessity right it comes up but we need to watch when it's coming up how it's coming up um when these type of lower energies come up we need to be mindful of why it's showing up is it something just just filling off in a regular situation that it you shouldn't your ego shouldn't be here or is it really defending you in an area or energy that is justifiable and that's all that um you want to take a look at right now spirit guys angels okay all right surrender to frustration so there's something that you're frustrated about maybe some of you are uh, allowing your ego to get in the way of your creativity and you're frustrated about that maybe you guys have gotten your own way due to you being defensive or offended by something maybe your ego was shattered by something very minimal and then you made it a hyperly extreme in a certain scenario or situation a lot of times your ego when it appears in a lower level form it can block your creative vision it can allow you not to see uh the full eyes view and i see that that may be going on for you guys so a lot of you guys are looking down and wondering why you guys feel defeated or why do you guys feel like you always have to overcome frustration and it's because you guys are allowing this lower level energy or you're allowing this energy to kind of spill in other areas of your life like your creativity you're allowing this energy to control the light of your life and that's something that you really need to surrender at this moment in time okay and please do like and subscribe to my youtube channel and tell me um how this specific story resonates for you okay all right so what is going to be the baseline energy for the remainder of july 2024 uh leo what is going to be the baseline energy for the remember remainder Ooh. okay balance all right, so a lot of you are coming back into balance or needing to come back into balance. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you may have suffered. Uh, some of you could have suffered without food or suffered without nourishment. One thing I realized that this, this unicorn is rather, looks a little skinny. But nonetheless, there's a bunch of sun coming down. The clouds are lit up. There's butterflies, so there's a metamorphosis here. There's trees, and it's like the... the, the, the um, the unicorns on top of the tree and it's okay so i see that whatever uh off balance if you guys had an imbalance you guys are coming into balance okay you guys are being able to come into your true form and i feel like some of you guys got thrown off balance due to your ego and your pride that was holding you back so there was a particular cycle that you guys were going through where you guys were looking down and i feel like again it had to do with your ego maybe you felt defeated or wounded in a way or like you didn't overcome something but i feel like in this sense it was just your ego was talking and you felt very frustrated and you felt very small or very fragile um during this uh time period maybe it was this moon cycle because we're coming into a new moon right now is a really good time to replant some seeds in your life and watch how that harvest during the next full uh, moon because right now again it's a great time to kind of cleanse out this energy that you're currently 
feeling, uh, the frustration that you're feeling, the ego that you're feeling, and tap into your creativity. So it'll be a great time to plant a seed and say, hey, I'm planting a seed for creativity and awaken that in you and um, harvest those. Because um, with the balance, I feel like uh, what you this unicorn being on top of the tree, that you're, you'll be able to uh, definitely, you have the ability to master manifest and bring into fruition whatever it is that you want to um, seed upon the soil. So you have leadership. Obviously, we know that Leo is full of courage and, you know, they're the center of the sun, you know, illuminating. Uh, they do embody a, a true quality of leadership, right? So I do see uh, that as soon as you, whatever cycle this is in, because I feel like there was some type of tough cycle where your head was down versus up and your head was down due to frustration. You felt a little fragile, a little defeated, a little unnourished, <laughs> to be quite frank. But it's time, I see a metamorphosis coming in. Like it's, you went from one cycle and you're going into the next. And I really feel like you should take advantage of this new moon energy to really harvest that energy so you can to really harness that energy so you can reap the harvest okay and dance 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 but yeah i do see that coming into fruition for you so big up to leo you guys you know uh everybody goes through like i said some something that is gonna hold us back or block us or hold us stagnant or make us a little stale in life but uh, nonetheless uh, I, I feel like you guys have the power uh to overcome that and you you guys do we all do so the spirit give me some um messages that will really hit home for the specific leo crowd i'm speaking to today uh give me some specific messages what's going to be happening for the remainder of july what messages do you want me to convey for leo today July 2020 for the remainder of July. Now to the end of the month. Okay. So some of you guys, woo, you guys are feeling burdened. It looks like you guys need to release some burdens about uh, maybe some money or a home life or a, a particular commitment that you were committed to. Maybe you guys need to reevaluate a commitment, looking at something in its face. Am I committed to this? Is this commitment overburdening burdening me? It's something that you guys have to analyze. Um, because I've seen uh, in the other cards, the, a few of the cards, the head was down. There was some fragile energy, some energy that it just looked like it was some frustration of the ego. And it looks like it, maybe you guys gave up on something that you thought you were committed to because it was burdening, burdening you. You guys went ahead and let the burden down. You released that uh, the stability. You have a ten of pentacles, so this could have been a lifelong partner. This could have been a lifelong job. Um, something that you seen um, light in that you had hope in. You have a Leo card here that appears. So you guys, it took you a lot of strength to release this. So again, um, I see this could be a long time commitment. This commitment or job probably couldn't have probably wasn't showing up how it's supposed to. Some of you guys, maybe you got. Um, that go to the pandemic and they said they would call you back but you decided that this was a burden even to work on a job and maybe this was a sign to just release it and it took a lot of strength for you to move forward and um, go get what you were looking for there elsewhere i feel like with this ten of pentacles there was some secrets some hidden things um done behind you okay everything was not illuminated for you to see okay so um maybe that's what hurt your ego here I feel like someone showed up as strong, um, but uh, I feel like someone wore, wore a mask or a cloak or something like that. Maybe someone um, was hiding who they are. I just got like a sheep and wolf clothing is what I'm hearing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I feel like also some of you have to battle your sheep and wolf clothing. I, some of you guys are showing up as to be the strong lion where you are actually uh, feeling defeated and overwhelmed in your home or physical or a financial life. Uh, maybe you guys are hiding or shadowing what is going on and showing up as a confident Leo when you are actually a sheep in wolf clothing. I mean, we've all been through that archetypal energy. I just got that story. And I feel like some of you guys just gave up on a long-term relationship. Maybe a husband or a long-term relationship, a, a partner that uh, just didn't bring to the table what you thought you could have. Okay, we, this person you felt maybe potentially could be the Ten of Pentacles, home life stability, all the great time and all that type of good stuff. But it looks like oh, it wasn't, it wasn't that. Uh, and it was just a burden that you guys uh, felt like you guys had to release here. Uh, it released it and looking at a dire direction with the strength that you have to embark on a new journey. So I see that movement happening there. Yeah, there's devil energy at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, okay, you guys had to realize. I feel like a lot of you guys were being naive and not moving away from this devil energy that was keeping you up all night. Yeah, I feel like you guys stayed there. Uh, a lot of you guys could uh, be, there's the empress showing up here. So I have a, a mother who's pregnant, staying up all night, uh, bearing seeds, afraid to move forward. Uh, due to stability, home life, so maybe someone's providing you a roof over your head. But that looks like that may be coming to the end. You guys could be working on your own place, working on manifesting your own place. Um, <clears throat> and maybe if you're manifesting your own place, um, don't be scared if you throw in applications and get shot down by um, whoever's checking applications a few times. Because this has happened in the past. Maybe it's stopping you from filling out applications to get your own place. But a judgment will be rendered and you will get your Ten of Pentacles. But it won't be out without a little conflict behind it. But again, it does look like success is going to come through. And you will get uh, the, the home that you're looking for. I do see that here. But I feel like back to this. I, feel, I see that um, a lot of you guys were in a clouded place, ignoring the fact that this was low level energy. You didn't want to go anywhere. And you're like, oh, this, you're ignoring it. But then you're also staying up all night thinking about why am I up all night feeling anxious about this because you're ignoring what's obvious and deciding to stay and deciding not to move on. I feel like a lot of you are deciding like I need to plant my seeds elsewhere and move the hell on and stop lying to myself about the situation. That's why you were showing up as a wolf in sheep clothing because you were lying to yourself about the situation about how bad the situation was. You could have been even drinking. I mean, I know a lot of mothers be drinking when they be pregnant, so drinking, smoking, intoxicated, something. Um, <clears throat> that ain't nothing new. I see that here. Yeah, I feel like some new information came to you, maybe worse than the information that you already were ignoring with the devil card in reverse and choosing not to move, move forward and choosing to be in a fog about the situation. I feel like maybe some new information was came forward or you were lurking or checking messages or online and may have found something that uh, you could, could, you just couldn't, it just didn't connect with your spirit. You're like, all right. And it, like you, she slapped you in the face and said, there, there ain't no denying this. Like, okay. If I had suspicions before, but like this is like dead ass in my face. There's no denying it. I have to drop this burden and release it and take the strength, the courage that I have to move forward and get my own place. And I do see that you're going to get shut down quite a bit before you do get your own place. But nonetheless, uh, I do see you. It might be at the beginning of next year. All right, you guys. Um, that is your reading, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share to my YouTube channel, Star Card Tarot. And, um, yeah, peace.